I know it's been a long time since this series was in the height of its popularity because of the anime, but I've been wanting to say this for quite a long time now. In ReZero, Subaru never did anything wrong. Since we're going to be talking a good deal about Subaru's mental state and what he goes through, there's going to be several spoilers to some of the more impactful parts of the anime, and to a degree, the web novel. Please keep that in mind if you decide to continue watching this. So, everyone that I've come across seemed to hate the guy, and it almost always seemed to be because of how he acts after a certain point in the series. The people I've talked to about why they hate him would say that they felt that he was wrong and deserves everything that happened to him, because they think that his personality became irredeemable after a while. Subaru is a character that is very mentally messed up, and has been that way since before he came into the parallel world. But this other world made his mental state so much worse in some ways, because of the toll that the constant deaths he's lived and witnessed has taken on him. To start things off, I'll talk about him from the beginning. Subaru is somewhat of a shut-in, presumably a recovering one because he has a bit more strength than your typical case, both in physical prowess and the ability to leave his home pretty freely when he needs something. Right off the bat, you notice something is pretty off about him. Subaru is super excited to have noticed that he's not in his world anymore, and you also soon discover that he seems to have a strong sense of duty. He's always portrayed as this pure childish guy that's pretty naive, so much that he comes off as an idiot a lot of the time. As you get quickly acquainted with him, you end up meeting our Subaru's love interest, Amelia, and that's where you start to notice a pretty big shift in his personality opposed to your usual main characters in the series. And this shift mostly comes from problems in his previous world before coming into this one, but we'll talk more about that later. Subaru becomes pretty obsessive towards Amelia, and, as the series goes on, this gets much worse. Having no help from his previous problems, the constant deaths he's faced with, and the ever-growing worry that he'll have to witness her death countless times until everything is normal again, spurs drastic change in his personality. Subaru is constantly confronted with suffering throughout the series, and while some of it is his own fault, a lot of it is undeserved. But that is what contributes to his personal growth and the worsening of his mental state, which eventually betters itself. Subaru does everything he can because he feels it's the right thing to do. His actions all have someone else in mind, and while he seems to be selfish at times, he's never really thinking about himself. He only ever thinks about everyone else, and he's willing to sacrifice his life time and time again, thanks to his beliefs and his fears. The point where I started noticing people were beginning to hate Subaru happens around episode 12, where Subaru and Amelia have their big fight. During this, he has a meltdown, and because of that, he says things that he didn't mean to say through his moment of weakness. That weakness of his begets even stronger weakness throughout the coming episodes because of his desperation to change and fix everything. His worsening was the product of no one believing him or taking his side, which just fills him with that much more desperation at the task of his futile efforts. Subaru just wants to make everything right, but nothing he does seems to work until he realizes that he was going about everything the wrong way and was deceiving his own self. On the other side of the argument, we have Amelia, who I've seen people hate just as well because of how she treated Subaru. Amelia, I feel, represents a person that doesn't understand the stress that someone goes through and is unwilling to help someone that won't help themselves. A large part of her actions in this particular scene also comes from her position as a spirit user, whose promises are sacred, which the breaking of them caused her to act more harshly towards him. Neither Amelia nor Subaru did anything wrong, and they were both in the right for this, but all I've ever seen is people hate them but not give consideration towards what it was actually for. The scene in question is there to make you feel some animosity towards Amelia, but that's only to make you find yourself more on Subaru's side because of how wrong the situation feels. The disconnect between the two makes you choose Subaru's side more than Amelia's, because you have the knowledge that she doesn't, since we can see every moment of joy or suffering that Subaru gets to experience, and that's why neither of them did something wrong. At this particular point in the series, Subaru has known everyone for roughly four months, but everyone else has realistically only known him for no more than a couple of weeks, and that fact also digs away at Subaru's mind a lot during his various interactions of the bigger plot lines, because it always comes back to him being unable to understand why only he can remember his loops in the first place. Now, we'll talk a bit about Subaru's life before coming to this parallel world. So, if you don't want to be spoiled of events that are past the anime, you'll want to skip to here. 
By now, you're sure to notice that something isn't quite right with Subaru, and you can even notice a little of it before Return by Death ever gripped the series. It's clear that he had some sort of problem that tormented him previously, but what was it that was eating at him exactly? To explain that, you have to take a look at Subaru's somewhat normal family situation in the previous world. His parents were very loving, although misguided in some parts of their mannerisms. They were amazing people to him, but no one else was more radiant to him than his father. Subaru's dad was what he strived to become. He was smart, successful, seemingly ahead of everyone around him, and that caused for the people that know him to praise him. But because of these achievements, Subaru was always compared to his dad. As he grew up, those comparisons started to bother him a lot because he started failing a lot in some aspects of his life, and it started to form his inferiority complex, which is what partly defines him in the early parts of the series, and doesn't really start to change until that fight with Amelia. His inferiority complex gave birth to a personality that made him want people to keep their eyes on him, a self-proclaimed failure. It gave him a really strange sense of pride because of his love for his father. He wanted people to see him differently than his father, and so he tried to stand out. When the acting out stopped working, the praises that he'd grown accustomed to became like poison, causing him to shift more into the Subaru we knew at the start of the series. A prideful rotten boy, filled to the brim with false bravado, always looking for a way to escape, and obsessing to keep people that he loved in his life, feeling that they'd leave him if he didn't show them some special treatment. When you take into account these things, a lot of how he acts throughout the series starts to make a lot more sense, especially with how he acts towards Amelia. Subaru knew damn well when he was doing something wrong, and he wanted to fix that part of him, but he never had the courage to admit that he hates it so much. All of this is what adds up to why Subaru wasn't in the wrong. Subaru seems very simple, but his warped mind is so complex. It's really hard to hate the guy, even more so when you relate to him so much. His character is why I consider ReZero to be one of the best isekai series around, because he adds so much to make it enjoyable, while also making you care for him. So. How do you feel about Subaru? Do you feel similar to this or did you interpret his actions differently? I'd love to know how you felt about this and I look forward to seeing what you all think. Just remember though, if you hate Subaru because he doesn't love a certain paradox waifu bait the same way, you're just wrong.